Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Cancer. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading for you, Cancer, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they resonate with you, Cancer, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. Um, as well, Cancer, if you enjoy this tarot reading video, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe. You don't even have to enjoy this tarot reading video, you could just enjoy my vibe. Well, I guess they kind of go hand in hand, but either way, I would just appreciate if you were to give this video a like um, and subscribe to me because it does help me out a lot. And I am super appreciative of it, Cancer, when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Um, and then before we get into this reading for you, Cancer, I want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Cancer. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate with you and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider, uh, Cancer, but never making the decision in your life because it is your life to live, Cancer, not mine and not these tarot cards. So, um, all that being said, let's just get into your weekly reading now. You guys got a lot of major arcana, uh, this week, Cancer, so that's already just letting me know that you guys are in a heavy state of transition. Um, I don't know which card I want to even look at first for you guys. Um, by the way, Cancer, I think I said, maybe I didn't, but I pulled some cards for y'all just so I could get a general idea of what's going on for you guys at this time. And you guys have the Hermit card. I feel like you guys got this card last week, Cancer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is the number nine. You guys, you guys are going to get several cards right down for numerology, by the way, just a heads up. But you have Archangel Razael, so you're open to working with Archangels. Cancer, Archangel Razael is one that you can work with. Uh, the Hermit card says, though, spend some quiet time in meditation, uh, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery, right? So when you have the Hermit, this is always just a situation of where it's like you're feeling a little bit self-reflective. Uh, you're feeling a little bit reclusive for what it is that you're reflecting and thinking about, though. It does seem to be uh, for you, Cancer, that you're really weighing out a decision on how to handle something or someone, right? And so for you, Cancer, you're just kind of in this state of hermiting and just really... Uh, don't really want to even talk to the like if it's about a person you don't even probably even want to talk to them you kind of want to just like feel things out on your own and um not even hear the opinion of like other people perhaps um yeah i feel like this is something that you feel like you have kind of have to handle on your own cancer and so we have coming up next the lover's card archangel raphael another archangel that you guys could be working with this week cancer if you feel open to working with angels uh the lover's card talks about uh intimate relationships carefully weighing out your decisions uh, and also talks about good health but we're going to really focus the message um uh, for you, Cancer, on um, why you're in this state of hermiting, because you're in this place of weighing out decisions, being like, oh, does this does this work out more than this? And just like, yeah, you're just weighing out the outcomes on things and just trying to decide what is worth your time, what is worth, uh, yeah, trying to find more detail, perhaps even. Um, for Because it does, with the rest of your cards that we have right here, uh, cancer. It's really uh, emphasizing this message of where it's like you're really leaning into like a new energy of sorts it seems but I kind of want to get some extra cards actually and see what else we can get for this because I want to pull some clarifiers just for these two cards which I already kind of have new. Uh, cancer is going to be pulling several cards for you get more than normal. Cancer, uh, just because of how many major arcana are coming in from your uh, base spread, general spread. So it makes sense. Uh, I kind of want to get an idea of what it is that you're hermiting about and see if we can get any more detail on this. All right, I want this card as well, honey. So the clarifiers we have going on uh, for you, Cancer, is we have the Three of Pentacles for you 
to get the glare out there. Uh, we have the Five of Cups for you. And then we have the World card. So you guys, Cancer, are in this place of really, you're really weighing out decisions and just in this place of hermiting because for some of you guys, you're really considering letting go and moving on from a situation that's been in your life, part of your life for quite a some time, uh, quite a some time, quite some time, Cancer. This is, you know, when you see this world card, it's one of those things of trying to figure out if the cycle is complete or not. Um, but with this cycle, it's been an ongoing cycle for quite some time, I suspect, uh, for you, Cancer. Um, and so, yeah, it's one of those things of where it's like you're really trying to uh, figure out if this cycle, when it comes to the Three of Pentacles, is over or not, right? This is the collaborative card. This could be a situation where it's like you're not sure about this job anymore. You're not sure about this coworker. Um, I don't really get this in terms of romantic. I'm going to be honest. It could, I could easily see this in terms of like a friendship thing with the Three of Pentacles, but I don't really get this in a romantic sense, but you would know, obviously. Cancer, um, yeah, you're just really trying to decide um, how to go about handling this situation. But interestingly enough, with your cards, and you'll see them with the other ones that I was talking about uh, before, Cancer, but you keep on getting cards kind of implying where it kind of seems like you are kind of, um, your foot's already halfway out the door with the situation. You kind of already are telling yourself that you need to walk away from it. Um, so I kind of suspect for some of you Cancers, this is going to be a pretty tough pill for you to swallow. It would make sense even more so now as to why you're in the state of just hermiting and probably you probably are finding yourself to be a little bit more irritable than normal as well, Cancer, just because it's just like the stuff that you're just going on in your mind and that you're having to think about is just extremely taxing and just exhausting to even have it going on in your head in the first place, right? So then uh, we have the Renewal card, number two for numerology. You know the drill cancer at this point. Uh, this card says review and evaluate, a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move into a new direction. So with this cancer, this is what I was saying before, like you're kind of ready for that fresh start. I believe this card or normal tarot is the death card, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, Archangel Jeromeo, by the way, uh, for people that are interested in open with working with Archangels, Jeromeo will definitely help with the transitions in your life. Uh, when you have this card of review and evaluate, this is one of those things, so as I was hinting at before, you're reviewing and evaluating this cycle, some type of cycle. You're really just not sure. Ooh. I feel like you're not sure. I say you're not sure, but I feel like you're kind of are uh, aware of like what you need to do um, and just moving into a new direction entirely. Uh, because again, I don't think I even talked about your five of cups because the five of cups is one of those like uh, um, energies where it's like you're looking back and you're just like, uh, like the cups have fallen and like distance has been had. One of those things where it's just like now you have to look into the new direction, right? If you look into this new direction, you see there's two cups filled over here. So it's almost like uh, finding the uh, silver lining almost, uh, Cancer, right? And see where this is trying to redirect you. Then you have the Queen of Air or Queen of Swords in normal tarot. This card says objective decision making, uh, clearing away all that no longer serves you, and seeing the humor in a situation. Now, Cancer, this is my uh, card. She keeps on coming up a lot in readings recently, actually. Uh, but this is my card of where it's like seeing things clearly now, right? You're clearing away all that no longer serves you. But didn't you already have this message here with the renewal card of favorable assessment of facts, right? I point this out, uh, Cancer, because this is really emphasizing the sense of like, for some of you Cancers, you need to be reaffirmed that you're not in the wrong in a situation, right? Um, you're not wrong in the situation. And for some of you, you guys might be taking the situation in this whole transition that you guys are going through in your life right now. You probably are taking it pretty hard right now and that's probably why spirit's trying so hard to reaffirm this message of where it's just like hey it's all right for you to go into this new direction right um you're seeing the favorite like you're seeing the truth in the situation and realizing that just this just truly wasn't meant for you in some way 
And by identifying that, you have the Knight of Fire coming in for you. The Knight of Fire says a sudden event that needs immediate attention, time is of the essence, and thinking things through carefully. Knight of Fire, by the way, is Knight of Wands in normal tarot, because fire is wands. Um, so in this sense here, I do get this uh, feeling where you kind of captivate this energy, uh, Cancer, once you kind of get that favorable assessment of the facts. I see you in this place of where it's just like, all right, realizing this isn't meant for you. And then um, it's almost just like right after you realize, like seeing things clearly, that's when everything else is like a domino effect where a lot of things start changing and happening um quickly in your life after that once you see the truth in a situation then it's kind of hard to uh be in that fantastical land or be disillusioned anymore like all the illusions that you were having you're experiencing you're kind of being lifted and once you're like once the lights are turned on you know you see the truth in a situation all the roaches start scattering right so um we did that for you uh cancer now let's start pulling some cards for you and see what blessings are in the process or in the works for you cancer let's see about that let's just use this deck while we have it out what blessings are in the works for my beautiful cancers this week how are you guys doing by the way i feel i know i have that as my intro but um I kind of want to just check in with you, Cancers, especially with all those major transitional cards. Um, I know you guys must be going through us heavily right now. All right, so you guys got four cards. The blessings on your way, uh, Cancer. We have the Three of Cups. The what is this? Queen of Cups. The what is this? <laughs> King of Pentacles. I don't have my glasses on, by the way. Um, and then the Knight of Cups. A lot of cups cards uh which is a good thing but i see hmm, i kind of cancer anticipate some pretty good news coming your way that's going to cause for some celebration that really uh brings forth a lot of stability in your life right this is definitely like the setup like you're going to be hearing back from something if you uh put like a resume out or like auditioned for something uh cancer you're definitely going to be getting receiving some good news i do get the sense that it's a person that's going to be bringing this news to you could be the person themselves being the good news cancer but i do feel like this sense of where it's like this night is more so offering the good news to you and that good news um come brings in the message of like the king of pentacles where it's just really uh brings forth a lot of stability into your life um really calls for you to even inspire you to have a lot more stability even more structure rather is the word i want it's almost like the card of like now you're taking things like realizing that this is serious and taking things more seriously um but it's also just super exciting for you as well and i feel like it's more than just like a service level of like nine to five or something news because it's like the queen of cups here is where it's like extremely fulfilling it makes you feel a lot more love like you just feel like everything just feels with the queen of cups you just just feel overall just happy with things rather than feeling just so stressed and um uptight and then you have the three of cups which is the card of celebration with friends right this is when you hear that good news and you're just like you just want to celebrate so that card of victory is that card of celebration right really good cards for you right for this to be like your blessing so really all i would say uh Cancer is to really just anticipate some really good news uh, coming to you. It's definitely in the works. The messenger, the messenger is coming. The good news is on its way. Whoever this night, whatever this night of cups is, the good news, some that cup might take longer for some of y'all, but others of y'all is definitely going to be coming this week. And it's going to just be lovely for y'all, right? So we have those cards done. Now let's just see what it is that my Cancer should be looking out for this week. What is it that my Cancer should be working on this week? Let's see. Y'all had the Cancer card, not the Cancer card, the Hermit card just fly out for you guys. All right, let's see what it is that my Cancer should be working on this week. So I told y'all, spoiler alert, you have the Hermit card coming in, right? Then you have the Queen of Swords, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles. So, what it is that you should be looking out for this week, Cancer? Mm. Mm. 
make sure that you don't get um it shows like low battery there we go um <laughs> hopefully it's still recording uh cancer i would say make sure that you don't get pulled out of your character um focus on you and yours uh this week cancer but i definitely see this sense of where it's like something could trigger you you know you could feel wronged in a situation or something that could make you act out of pocket or act wild right even if you feel justified in the situation right uh don't get i do get, get the sense that you're going to get receive some challenges as when you start hermiting and really start figuring things out for yourself um there's definitely some distractions that could come into play that force you into this queen of swords and where it's like extremely ven uh, vengeful or vindictive uh very much so on guard um so well it's like while you see, start seeing the truth in some stuff right this week when you start seeing the truth in those situations right cancer just be very careful about not letting it make you making you resentful right um remember that seeing the truth in this situation is all is it, all it's doing is showing to you what it is where it is that you need to start going to in your life next you don't need to be the one that brings forth justice leave justice to karma or whatever higher being right it's not your job to lay down justice it's not your job to do that um because all it's going to do is be an in service to you to service to you rather is the word um and take away uh, energy, precious, precious energy that you could be doing for something else, right? Um, I just don't see you benefiting from at all from engaging in this energy. Even if you are seeing the, those truths and it sucks, right? It's a tough pill to swallow, but just keep it moving because that is in your best interest, uh, Cancer. So now uh, we have all those cards done. Cancer, let's see what or what the Oracle cards have to say for you guys now. I'm sitting on my bed, by the way, which is nothing new, but just to explain, I have all my tarot cards spread all over. So I'm going to pull some animal Oracle cards. I'm going to probably do two. Two is the number for you guys. Two animal Oracle cards as, as, as well as, rather, Cancer, and using my words. Uh, we're gonna do two moon oracle cards for you guys. So let's see here. Mm, no. All right, so we'll do your moon oracle cards. We have the new moon in Scorpio working through your fears, Cancer. And then you have the cardinal moon, be bold and make the first move. So kind of just like a duo, wombo combo, just like release your inhibitions. Isn't there the Natasha Bedingfield song, <laughs> release your inhibitions? Uh, yeah, your biggest uh, blockage is yourself. You know, don't limit yourself, um, Cancer. Get out of your head. Your head is going to be in like, what, you, what, you know, just don't feed into false narratives, right? You know, keep, keep it light. And if you start feeling nervous about something, just see that as a challenge rather as seeing that as something to like avoid, right? Don't question if you're up for the task or not and just the only way, like, and just do it, right? You know, not a question. The animal oracle cards we have for you, we have the cheetah card. Get clear on your intention and stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal right? And the ladybug card. This is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all the good things in your life right now. So really good cards to have. You know, keep your eye on the prize. Your I always like to see the lady. I see the ladybug personally as like a sign that it's like a messenger card from like usually like your ancestors. I see it as where they're like letting you know that they're around you right now, Cancer. So just keep your eye on the prize and you're going to get there. So now cancer let's see uh what stone would be best for you to work with this week um or if you're just looking to have a stone to buy or in just finding needing someone to enable you i'm going to be your person this week cancer let's see what stone or crystal that you would be best working with this week let's see you guys got petrified wood. I actually just, this is the most recent purchase I have actually, Cancer, is petrified wood. Um, so I bought it recently, but I could not tell you really too much about it. So look at the properties of petrified wood so you can get the full benefits and so you can see if petrified wood is meant for you. 
Um, I know it's a really good grounding uh, stone to have, but that's really all I know. But Cancer, that is the reading that I have for you this week. I hope you found some cards that resonated with you. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Cancer. Um, and then also, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, Cancer, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, I would really appreciate it if you were to send them my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, Cancer, I love you so much.